Armenian Wine, Wikipedia Article Audio Armavir Province, Ararat Province, Vayatstzer Armenian wine is wine made in Armenia, in the region of South Caucasus. Armenia is one of the oldest wine-producing regions of the world. History Winemaking in Armenia Since ancient days Armenia was famous for the winemakers where original traditions were kept until this day. It is possible to learn about this even from works of such philosophers as Herodotus and Strabo. In 401-400 BC, when the Greek armies led by Xenophon were passed on the country Neri, in the Armenian houses they were treated with wine and beer which was kept in deep dugouts in special carazes. In carazes with beer, reeds have been inserted which served for our ancestors as salt cellars. Archaeological excavations carried out by academic Piatrovsky in the 19th and 20th centuries have confirmed that in the 9th century BC, the area of modern-day Yerevan was a winemaking region. Archaeologists have found, in the fortress Taishabani, a wine storehouse with 480 carazes, which hold 37,000 dal of wine. During excavation in Karmar Blur and Arabuni had been found 10 wine storehouses in which were 200 carazes. Still ancestors of Armenians inhabitants of one of the most ancient states of the world Urito, were engaged in wine growing. In historian certificates, that in thus one of the most ancient states in the world the special attention was given development of wine growing and fruit growing were kept. Often in the historical data which have reached to us manufacturing techniques of wine and beer are mentioned. During Soviet Union period the Armenian winemakers were on peak of the glory. From 1940 to 1985, manufacturing of wine increased by nine times, brandy by 17 times, and from 1960 to 1986, the production of sparkling wines increased by a factor of 10. In the 1980s Armenia annually processed an average of about 210,000 tons of grapes from which received 14-15 million deciliters of wine. 2 million from them were used in manufacturing of brandy, the remaining part was used for wine making. 37. 4% of incomes of Armenia in the field of foodstuffs were necessary for winemaking. In 1980s Armenia provided 25% of brandy made in all Soviet Union, 3% of wines were necessary on a share of Armenia. Three quarters of released production was exported mainly to Russia. During that period the Armenian winemaking has been concentrated in Ararat Trest. Having visited here, Maxim Gorky has told that it is easier to rise on mountain Ararat, than to leave storehouses Ararat Trest. There, in the Cut Gorge, there is a museum of winemaking in which collection is registered more than 3,000 versions of wines, aged few centuries. There are only three similar storehouses of wines in all over the world, in France, Italy, and Armenia. Today many peasants, as well as three millenniums ago, process grapes and receive wine in special premises. In wine factories the material for wine is stored in oak barrels, but in many villages kind traditions of fathers to now are used, and carazes are used for storage of materials of wine. Owing to its pinkish structure, Armenian oak allows receiving wines with natural taste of vanilla, chocolate, and dried fruits. Wines from local Armenian grades of grapes adjoining to the surface of the barrels from the Armenian oak, give rise to unique bouquet. This unique combination is impossible to reproduce in any other country of the world. The fertile valleys of the South Caucasus, which Armenia straddles, 
are believed by many archaeologists to be the source of the world's first cultivated grapevines and Neolithic wine production, over 6,000 years ago. Although not a large player in the world of wine today, Armenian wine played an important role in the history of wine, and it has been suggested that the domestication of the Eurasian grape first occurred in the mountainous regions of Armenia before moving to the south. During all this time they never stopped making wine. They were one of the main wine producers in the Soviet Union and have since started exporting their wine worldwide. Armenian wine spread to Africa. During the Armenian genocide perpetrated by the Ottoman Empire during World War I, some Armenians fled to Ethiopia, where they cultivated vineyards. Many Armenian reds are very sweet and rich, and Ethiopian wine has a similar quality. During periods of Islamic rule, Armenians were the suppliers of alcoholic beverages, such as wine, to the Muslims, who were not allowed to still alcohol. In 2011 archaeologists in Armenia announced the discovery of the world's oldest known wine production facility. Located in the Arani Cave complex, it consisted of a shallow basin to press grapes, a vat for storage, and fermentation jars. They also found grape seeds, remains of pressed grapes, and dozens of dried vines. The seeds were from Vitus vinifera vinifera a grape still used to make wine. The cave remains date to about 4000 BC 900 years before the earliest comparable wine remains, found in Egyptian tombs. This is what CNN wrote. Wine Production During the Soviet Era An international research team says it has found the world's oldest winery in a paper published Tuesday in the peer-reviewed Journal of Archaeological Science. James Owen from National Geographic News quotes archaeologist Gregory Ershian of the University of California, Los Angeles, the site gives us a new insight into the earliest phase of horticulture how they grew the first orchards and vineyards. It's the oldest proven case of documented and dedicated wine production, stretching back the horizons of this important development by thousands of years said Gregory Ershian, CEO Director of the Excavation and Assistant Director of the University of California Los Angeles's Kotzen Institute of Archaeology. Current Status In republics of the Soviet Union the development of studying and producing technologies of wine, especially sherry type, took place between 1930 and 1970. The production of sherry-type wines had a significant role in development of viticultural technologies of the Soviet Union. In former USSR regions, sherry-type wine was produced in Crimea, Moldova, Kazakhstan, Krasnodar, Rostov, and Armenia. Many scientific sources indicate that in Soviet Union the production of sherry-type wines was established exactly in Armenia. The production of sherry wine in Armenia was established by scientists in winemaking and viticulture field NN. Prostasertov and R.L. Afrikian. In 1931 the scientists found out that in non-hermetic carases on the surface of wine emerges pellicle, which is formed by yeasts similar to Spanish ones. The authors named the yeast sac. Jerisiensis armeniensis. They proved that sherry yeast can be found not only in Spanish but also in wines of other countries. In Armenia, sherry type wine was made from phosphate and killer ingenious grape varieties. Armenian sherry was a high quality wine and was the second in volume of production after Armenian brandy production. Ashtarak was the first sherry-type wine produced in Soviet Armenia. It was produced by Ashtarak Wine Factory, subdivisions of which were situated in Ashakan and village Foskovas.
A large number wineries and vineyards are found throughout the provinces of the Republic of Armenia. A winery is a property that produces wine, or a business involved in the production of wine, such as a wine company. Some wine companies own many wineries. Besides wine making equipment, larger wineries may also feature warehouses, bottling lines, laboratories, and large expanses of tanks known as tank farms. Aragat Satun Province here is a list of wineries slash distilleries slash producers of alcoholic drinks, classified by the provinces of Armenia. Ararat Province The wine produced in Aragat Satun is mainly from the vineyards located to the south of the Aragats and Artini Mountains. The village of Foskovas has an ancient history of winemaking. Many carazes were found in the nearby church of Serp Hoveans, dating back to the 7th century. Armavir Province The wine produced in Ararat is mainly from the vineyards of the Ararat Plain. The ancient city of Arjishtikanili located within the territories of Ararat Province, was a major center for wine production. Large storage areas for wine and grains were found by archaeologists within the fortifications of the ancient town dating back to the 8th century BC. The wine produced in Armavir is mainly from the vineyards of the Ararat Plain. Gegarkunik Province The wine produced in Tavish is mainly from the vineyards of the Axtef River Valley. Modern viticulture in the Tavish region has been developed since the 1950s. However, the Ijvan winery is particularly famous for its pomegranate wine. Vayatstzer is one of the ancient regions that produce wine in the Caucasus. The wine produced from the Vayatstzer vineyards particularly from the region of Arani is known as Arani wine. Vayatstzer is home to the annual Irony Wine Festival launched in 2009. Archaeological excavations carried out by academic Piatrovsky in the 19th and 20th centuries have confirmed that in the area of modern-day Yerevan was a wine-making and producing region as early as the 9th century BC. In the Urartian fortress of Tishabani near Yerevan, Archaeologists found a wine storehouse with 480 carazes, which hold 37,000 dal of wine. During excavations in the most ancient settlements of Arabuni slash Yerevan, including the Karmar Blur site and the Arabuni fortress of 782 BC, archaeologists found 10 wine storehouses in which more than 200 carazes were kept. Artsakh is the tenth province of the historic Kingdom of Armenia. The region is known for winemaking since ancient times, especially the southern part where the Artsakh vineyards are mainly found. It is home to the Cyrene grape variety. The climate of the region combined with its fertile soil allows to produce a unique variety of grapes, at an average height of 800 meters above sea level. Many wine carazes dating back to the 7th century, were found in the archaeological sites near the village of Tok. Kotake Province Shirak Province Foskovas Winery, opened in 1932 in Foskovas. The winery produces a variety of wine, mainly under the brands Vanakan, Foskovas, Erzana, Foskhate, Foskovas Arani Noir, and Chateau Foskovas. The winery's Foskovas Arani Noir Red Dry Wine was awarded gold medal at the Mundus Vini 18th Grand International Wine Award, took place in Germany, Armis Winery, opened in 2007 in Noriedesia. The winery produces a variety of Arani wine under the brand Armis, Armenia Wine Winery, opened in 2008 in Sasunik. The factory produces wine under the brands Terrari, Talker and Armenia. It also produces the Armenia Champagne, 
Hazy Group, opened in 2011 in Foskovaz. The winery produces a variety of Armenian cognac under the brand Hazy. It also produces the Hazy Vodka, Winehouse Winery, opened in 2011 in Akdiz K. The winery produces a variety of wine under the brands Sarduri and Old Wine, Van Arti Winery, opened in 2013 in Sasunik. The winery produces a variety of wine under the brand Van Arti. Arigok Brandy Factory, opened in 1889 in Dalar. The factory produces a variety of Armenian cognac under the brands Arigok and Arvest, Ararat Wine Factory, opened in 1903 in Ararat Village. The factory produces a variety of cognac, wine, fruit wine, and champagne, Artishat Vinkin Winery, opened in 1905 in Mkchian. Cognac is produced mainly under the brands Artishat, Argamai, and Artavazd, Ararat Cognac Factory AKZ, opened in 1932 in Afshar. The factory produces a variety of Armenian cognac under the brands Grand Sargis, Irene, Legend of Armenia, etc. It also produces a variety of fruit brandy and fruit wine, Vadi Alco Winery, opened in 1956 in Geneva. The winery produces a variety of wine derived from the grapes of Arani, Kajer, Muscat and Saparavi with the most notable brands being Yerevansi, Getup Vern Ashen, Haik, Kuran and Vivat Armenia. Vodka brands of Vadi include A. Fisha, Senator, and Leader. Cognac brands of Vadi include Duduk and Arox. The winery also produces fruit brandy, fruit vodka, and fruit wine, Offshar Wine Factory, opened in 1968 in Offshar. The factory has a variety of Armenian cognac brands, including Afshar, Edivan, Gladzer, Artvin, Marmara, Tigris, etc. The winner produces the Imperskaya white vodka and a variety of fruit vodka as well. Yurisk Wine Factory, opened in 1970 in Yurisk. The winery produces a variety of wine, cognac, and fruit vodka. Van 777 Winery, opened in 1992 in Taparakan. Cognac is produced under the Arnak and Aran brands, while the wine variety is produced under the brand Tushpa. Agated Gold Winery, opened in 2007 in Norkuran. The winery produces a variety of Armenian cognac with the main brands being Old Kilikia, Arseni, and Artashavan. Wine, vodka, and fruit vodka are also produced under the brand Kilikia, Shado Arno Winery, opened in 2002 in Aintup. The winery produces a variety of Armenian cognac including Shado Arno, Armianski Standard, and Armiansko Zolato. A variety of Kakiti, Karji, Arani and Muscat wine is also produced by the winery under the brand Arzakan, Merganyash Brandy Factory, opened in 2002 in Merganyash. Cognac is produced under the brand Merganyash. Vodka and fruit vodka are produced under the brand Abri, Tavinko Winery, opened in 2006 in Taparakan. The company produces a variety of Armenian cognac under the brands Amaras, Karo, Mer, etc. A variety of wine is also produced by the winery, Shahumayan Ven Winery, opened in 2006 in Shahumayan. A variety of wine, cognac, and vodka is produced by the winery, Shomayan Alco opened in 2007 in Ardashat. The company produces a variety of Armenian cognac under the brand Grand Nareen. The winery produces a variety of fruit vodka as well. Sis Alco Distillery, opened in 2007 in Hayanist. 
Vodka and fruit vodka is produced by the distillery, Abrican Distillery, opened in 2010 in Ararat Village. The company produces a variety of apricot vodka and apricot brandy under the brand Abrican, Prochain Brandy Factory Igustin Branch, in Igustin. See Eunuch Province. Tavish Province. Vayatsdzer Province. Yerevan. Ekmiadzin Winery for Wine, Cognac, and Vodka. Opened in 1928 in Vaur Shapet, Map Winery for Cognac and Wine, opened in 1942 in Lenuphai, Yerevan Brandy Company Armavir Branch, opened in 1966 in Armavir, Merjavan Brandy Factory for Cognac, Wine and Vodka, opened in 1998 in Merjavan, Karas Winery for Wine, opened in 2003 in Aravadisht, Wine R Winery for Wine, opened in 2004 in Norapet, Parakar Wine Brandy House for Wine and Cognac, opened in 2005 in Parakar, Armin Alco for Cognac, opened in 2008 in Igus Hat, Foskini Wines, opened in 2008 in Arox. The winery produces red and white wine labeled as Foskini Wines. Arpanik Winery for Wine and Cognac, opened in 2009 in Arshaluas, Alvin Alco Winery for Wine and Cognac, opened in 2010 in Lukashin, INT Iralco Winery, opened in 2014 in Igus Hat. The winery produces Armenian Cognac under the brands Kartlos, House and Jafeth, Aluria Wines. Opened in 2016 in Vaur Shapet, Prochain Brandy Factory Armavir Village Branch for Cognac, Wine and Vodka, in Armavir. Ijvan Wine Brandy Factory, opened in 1951 in Ijvan. The factory produces a large number of well-known wine brands including Sargon, Ijvan and Kekar. The factory also produces a variety of Armenian cognac including King Abgar, Nemrut, Arka, Vanuai, and Old Ijvan, Berdavan Wine Factory, in Berdavan. Republic of Artsakh Getup Wine Factory Vadi Alko Winery Branch, opened in 1938 in Getup. Getup Winery is operated as a branch of the Vadi Alko Winery, Marin Winery, Opened in 1992 in Yerevan. A variety of wine is produced under the brands St. Anna, Zarm, Noravank, Bagratuni, and Arpa. Arani wine is produced under the brands Arani Marin, Arani Malishka, and Arani Yeghunadzer, while Pinot wine is produced as Avagini Rouge and Avagini Blanc. Pomegranate wine is produced as M. Parajanov while apricot wine is branded as Marin Apricot. The winery also produces a variety of fruit vodka labeled as Bark. The company's Bagratuni Red Dry Wine received a bronze medal in the 2014 Decanter World Wine Awards, Arani Wine Factory, opened in 1994 in Arani. A variety of red arani is produced by the winery under the brands Vayatstzer, Lernishen, and St. Echmiadzin. Stepanakert Brandy Factory, operating since 1931 in Stepanakert with branches in Yerevan, Martuni, and Karmershika. The company produces a variety of cognac under the brand Modatov, wine under the brand Bertishen, and fruit vodka under the brand Karabakh, Artsakh Brandy Company, opened in 1998 in Igustan village of Askaran region. The factory produces a variety of cognac under the brand Artsakh Ahanyan, fruit brandy under the brand Artsakh, wine under the brand Artsakh Shushi, and vodka under the brand Ahanyan, Katara Winery of Anish One Company. Opened in 2010 in Tok village of Hadrut region.
The winery produces a variety of Cyrene wine from the vineyards of Artsakh, under the brand Cataro, Mika Hadrut Winery, in Hadrut, Hadrut region, produces a variety of cognac, wine, and vodka under the brand Mika, Askaran Wine, in Askaran, Askaran region, for wine, and vodka, Aragil Winery, in Shekhar, Martini region, produces the Shekhar wine, Balas Anyun Winery, in Askaran, Askaran region, produces the Tet Upap wine and vodka, Lea Cooperative, in Martakurt, Martakurt region, produces the Martakurt wine, Hera Pitayan Brothers Winery, in Karmershaka village of Martuni region, produces a variety of wine, Piank Winery, in Kramert, Askaran region, produces the Vankasar wine, Tunjeri 2000 Cooperative, in Martuni, Martuni region, produces a variety of wine.